You've been waiting for this for a long time. What are your emotions like just even a couple of days away from your first game? Uh, you know, very eager. I'm excited. I can't wait to get back out there, you know, on the field and help this team. Can you believe it's actually been almost a year since you've been in a, a real NFL game? So it's like 342 days. 342 days, you know, I've been counting down. And uh, I'm just excited. A lot of, you know, mixed emotions, high, you know, low. It's going to be a very fun, emotional game, and I'm definitely going to be excited to get out there and, you know, do whatever I can to play the role and help this team win. When you're going through that 342 days, were you always confident that you would be back on the field? I mean, the first couple weeks, you know, I wasn't sure, but after a while, I just, you know, prayed to God and put it in his hands and, you know, did everything I could and stayed positive and made sure I stayed in the weight room and the gym and just kept my goals ahead and looked forward. How much of a difference does it make that you're coming back you know, I got a lot of family and support out here. It's a lot of great people in this building who, you know, do their best to help me out. And anything I need, though, I can talk to them and, you know, trust those guys. What were the weeks like when you were away from the team? And what did you learn during that time coming back to uh, the The weeks was, you know, it was kind of weird. I was, I was bored. <laughs> I had a lot of time on my hands. I was just working out, you know. Whenever I got a chance to watch the game, I would watch the game and all that, make sure I stay on top of that stuff and just try to my best, you know, stay locked in and not get too far behind. How are you a different person today than you were this time last year? Honestly, it just, you know, I had a lot of time to just sit and reflect and think and uh, just look at the big picture and make sure, you know, I just overthink and look at everything from the outside in and, you know, I, I, I've been able to stay on top of things and, you know, just like thinking before you act and not reacting to little things and just keeping your emotions to yourself pretty much. So uh, I feel like, you know, my emotions were very high last year and now I kind of settled down a little bit more. Where are you at with that? Do you feel like, are you an emotional person to the point where can you see yourself being overcome by walking out on that? Uh, I mean, football is a game of emotion, so I'm just going to have to, you know, lock in and make sure I put those aside, and it's a job to be done, and that's the win. Where are you at with the hernia uh, injury? 100%? Yeah, I'm good. I'm 100%. Ready to go. Were you doing that? Was that what was bugging you at the beginning of training camp? Yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you have to cut some weight when you got back? Was it... Oh uh, yeah, I mean the uh, practicing the past two weeks helped, you know, leading up to now, and uh, just getting me back in football shape. It's it's hard to train for football shape, and it's really not much you can do when you got to put a helmet on and shoulder pads. And it's a big different from just training and conditioning outside of, you know, running routes in football. Are you saying that they maybe should watch out? from your first touch. Have you thought about that first touch and what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, I, I've been thinking about it, but I'm going to keep it to myself. <laughs> this team had a lot of hype and expectations around it. What was, what's it been like to watch them go 2-6, and six, and what kind of boost do you think you can get from coming back to try to help get it on the right track? I mean, I know it's been tough, but uh, now all we can do is look forward and take it game by game and control what we can control. And, uh, you know, we got to stay positive and keep playing football. And, just take it play by play. Don't try to, you know, get it all back in one play. Just focus on the next down, next play, next game, and I feel like we should be fine. What kind of renewed hunger do you bring back to the game, knowing that it can be taken away from you at any time? You said what kind of hunger? Yeah, what kind of, you know, sort of renewed appreciation for the game or renewed hunger for the Oh, game? yeah. I mean, honestly, it just... It, it, it means so much to me, and I just know that I really appreciate the fact that I get to go out and do this every day. And uh, it made me really appreciate. It made me really appreciate it more. You know, get, waking up every morning, and coming to work, even though it was days I didn't like doing it. But now it's like, yeah, I get to go to work again today, and now it's just a great feeling to be able to, you know, come here and train and put the grind in. A lot of guys have uh, rust when they come back after a long time off. 
Um, how do you feel you're going to do with that? Do you, do you think you've been able to shake it off? Do you think it'll be a factor for you at all? Uh, well, I was able to get back in my groove a little bit these past couple weeks when they let me practice early, and uh, I'm a pretty confident person. I feel like I'll, I just got to take it play by play and play my, my game of football and not try to do too much. That's the thing. I know I'm not going to try to do too much. I'm just going to control what I can control and do do what I can do. Well, obviously, these players have to guard against when they're coming back is like a soft tissue injury. So what have you been able to do maybe to do Prevent that from, you know, I've been doing more, you know, stuff in the training room still. Staying on top of, I'm 100%, but I'm just staying on top of the little things and make sure my hamstrings and everything else is working correctly. Obviously, uh, Nick has had a really good first half of the season. So what do you think your role is going to be with him already in the back end? Nick's a freak, man. And <laughs> whenever I get the opportunity or my name call, I'm going to get in there and no let down, no let off. He I said, really excited too to have you. Are you almost hoping you guys can be on the field together? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'll be, you know, something special. Nick's a great back, you know. So is Dontrell and uh, those other guys, and I'm excited to be back out there too with him. I, I love the way he runs the football. You know, I'm always cheering for him and biggest hype man. I'm just excited to be back on the football field. I know it's my hometown. I love them to death, but it's just going to feel a little bit different touching that field and, you know, hitting somebody again. The physical side is one thing, but how do you think you're doing on the mental side, knowing everything, being able to, you know, do all the assignments because, you know, you're a versatile guy that might want to use you in, in different ways. I mean, I feel, I'm, I'm feeling comfortable with it. Freddie's been doing a great job of, you know, making sure to keep me on top of things and, no, I'm know what I'm doing pretty much, and I feel comfortable with it. What kind of impact do you more. think you can have right out of the shoot? Uh, whatever they give me, honestly, yeah. I'm gonna try to take advantage of every opportunity I get when I get the football or without the football. I'm gonna try to make that touchdown block or whatever, anything, whatever the role is, I'm gonna take it. Well, you, and think run. You're, you think you're the same player you were 300 whatever days ago? No doubt. Did you give your family a ticket limit? Yes, I did, actually. <laughs> like I said, 342 days. <laughs> I'm under a microscope, and uh, like I said, I'm not trying to put anything in jeopardy of them 342 days. <laughs> I had a lot of time to think about, you know, if I get in this situation, how I'm going to handle this. If I get in this situation, how I'm going to handle that. If this happened, how I'm going to handle that. You know, you get a lot of time to really reflect and think about the things, and then you get a lot of time to, you know, the situation you were in, what you could have done better or anything like that. So I'm good with it. Uh, yeah, I think it was like the first two, three weeks I couldn't be here, four weeks, maybe four weeks. I can't remember. It all run together now. I'm just ready to play football. But after that, then you work? Yeah. So after like four weeks, I think I was able to do two weeks just working out and like uh, treatment and stuff. No practice. And then the last two weeks, I think something like that. you've been around, you've been reacclimated. Yeah. Been around the guys. Mm-hmm.